Good evening, folks. This is Mike. How is everyone doing? I would like to do a very brief video to recommend a film that was recently released by the Criterion Collection. And the film is Something Wild. Okay? Something Wild. This is an American film released in 1961, directed by a man named Jack Garfine, who was probably not a well-known name because he's only directed two other films. And the film stars Carol Baker, who at the time was married to Jack Garfine. Also, Ralph Meeker is in it, uh, Mildred Dunnock. And um, this is a film that, for those of you who might be walking through the stacks, the Criterion stacks at Barnes & Noble, or checking out what's new online to see what's been released, this might be something you would pass by and not think that would be that interesting. Which is ironic because when it first was released in 1961, it was also bypassed by audiences. Uh, it disappeared from theaters very quickly, did not go over well at all, got very mixed critical review uh, reviews, and um, disappeared for a long time. It was only seen, well, let's see, I saw it on television maybe 30 years ago. It was either on American Movie Classics, it might have been Turner Classic Movies, I'm not sure. Just saw it once. And I can't say that I really enjoyed it, but it certainly made an impression. I never forgot it. So when it recently um, got released by Criterion and I did some reading about it, I was suddenly fascinated by it. And I went out and paid full price for it, which uh, if you remember a few videos ago, I talked about doing this with uh, this, this box set of the uh, BBS studio films. I went out and paid full price for this as well bought this online, but I picked this up at Barnes & Noble. Just walked in and grabbed it and bought it. And I'm very glad that I did. It's a fascinating movie and definitely worth seeing. It's totally unique. There's just never been anything quite like this, at least that I've seen. Now, I don't want to tell you too much about the story because I don't want to spoil it for you. The film has so many surprises and so many strange twists and turns and directions that things go in that you're totally not expecting and I don't want to spoil it for you. Um, so I'm not going to tell you anything about the story but it involves a young woman played by Carol Baker living in New York City, a college student who suffers a great trauma at the beginning of the film and the story is about how she handles what happened to her and what, ha what the decision she makes uh, taking her life in this direction and then all of a sudden her life becomes something that she was completely not expecting, something that the viewer is completely not expecting. And it's very dark, it's very downbeat, um, very depressing in, in many places. Not to say that it doesn't have some light moments which are actually very pleasurable, but um, it's, it's just a very downbeat film and the ending will leave a lot of people uh, frustrated and even angry by what happens and uh, I hope that intrigues you enough where you will want to check out something wild okay now this is a two disc set the uh, second disc has a few extra extra features that are worthwhile that's um, very beautiful picture of Carol Baker from the film on the booklet uh, it has an interview with Jack Garfine and some other interviews about the movie and uh, Jack Garfine um, was involved with the Actors Studio in New York City back in the 1950s. He was a survivor of the Holocaust. He came to America and got involved first as an actor and then he became a writer and a director. Most of his life was spent in the Actors Studio teaching and he also directed many plays and only ventured into making films three times. And uh, see, he was not successful as a filmmaker, so most of his life was spent after that. He did some television, but was mainly known uh, as being involved as an acting teacher with the Actors Studio. And he and Carol Baker were married for several years, had a couple of children. And of course, she's um, she, her career was very strange. She uh, became famous in the 1950s for a, a Tennessee Williams film called Baby Doll. And then she made a variety of different kinds of characters. Uh, they, they tried to typecast her as, as a sex symbol in the 1960s and, you know, somewhat successfully. But it overshadowed the fact that she was really a very, very good actress. And this is one of the best things I've ever seen her in. Um, now, like a lot of the Criterion Collection films, there's a little booklet with uh, some photographs 
behind the scenes, a lot of information about the film. And also there's an essay by a, a film critic that I never heard of. Her name is Sheila O'Malley. The essay is called Last Chances, and it's absolutely one of the best essays and, and film commentaries that I've ever read in any of the Criterion Collection packages. So I would recommend it just to read the essay. Um, here's another beautiful picture of Carol Baker in the film in a very crucial sequence on, on this bridge. Okay. The film is it's in black and white, beautiful, stark, um, almost like film noirish uh, cinematography, filmed on location in New York City. So you get to see a lot of what the city looked like back in 1961. You get to see Times Square, all the theaters, uh, the traffic, the buildings. It's really fascinating, but that's not the reason to see the movie. The reason to see it is because it is an incredibly dramatic and wonderfully acted film. A lot of uh, sequences which are, are completely completely without dialogue. So in a way, um, a lot of a lot of the scenes that Carol Baker does is like being a silent film actress. She's very very good in this. So I just uh, wanted to drop by and say hello to everyone again. It's been a while since I've done a video. And uh, Criterion Collection, something wild. So if you don't want to pay full price for it, wait for the sale to come up. I think you'll like this, all right? So let me know if you've seen this. Anybody know anything about it, please. I'd love to have a conversation. All right, thank you for watching. I will talk to you later.